WWE No Mercy Predictions, which is only on WWE Network tonight. So, go get your hands on WWE Network so you can watch WWE No Mercy with me and also Hell in a Cell. With further ado, this is my own WWE No Mercy Predictions, but hey, go comment down below your own WWE No Mercy Predictions. Before we start, don't forget to like this video, smash that subscribe button down below, and hit my logo right about here. Let's get started! Alright. Elias Sampson versus Apollo Crews. And uh, I'm going with Elias Sampson winning. Um, if, you know, Titus isn't getting involved, I'm just going to go with Elias, you know. He seems to be really good, doing good lately. So, I'm going to go with Elias Sampson. Uh, next. Neville versus Enzo Amaro. Um, I've seen a lot of predictions that said Amaro. Um, and a lot of them say Neville. Um, I see a lot of people talking about it saying that it's going to be Enzo. I, on the other hand, have always since the last few weeks, I'm on Neville. I don't know. I just... I think that Neville is going to retain, so that's my prediction. Um, I just don't think Enzo really has the championship feel to me. No offense to Enzo, though, but I'm just going to go with Neville on this one. Um, the next, The Miz versus Jason Jordan. Uh, and this is for the IC title, baby. And um, this one was a little bit hard because Jason Jordan has been given a lot of things handed to him because of the Kurt Angle situation. Um, but I'm gonna go with the Miz retaining. Um, uh, might be because Miz tried getting involved, probably, most likely. But hey, I'm gonna go with the Miz winning, though. Um, and walking out with still the IC title. Um, so, yeah. Alright. Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Now, this one was a little hard because I'm kind of leaning towards Finn, but I'm kind of leaning towards Bray but this match is kind of one of those matches where some people don't give a crap about. Um, I'm kind of one of those people. I kind of wish that it was the Demon King versus Bray again because that match was pretty awesome. But however, I'm going to go have to go with Bray Wyatt. I mean, he's been so creepy in his goddamn promos and segments lately. I don't know. They're just kind of like making him a little stronger this time. I don't know. Maybe it'd be giving him a little bit more of a field that he'll win, you know, something again. I don't know. I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt. Hey, you know, that live once, right? Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose versus Sheamus and Cesaro. And this is for tag team titles. And my prediction would have to be um, that Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose walk out steal the tag team champions. Um, I just love Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Um, it would suck if they ever have to turn on each other. I just like them as a team. I don't know. They might not like it, but I like it. Um, I know probably it's a downgrade for them, you know. I mean, no one really wants to, you know, not be in that main picture, you know what I mean? Like Brock Lesnar and all that jazz. So it's just, I don't know. I'm just going to go with that, though. Alright. Alexa Bliss versus Bailey versus Emma versus Anaya Jax versus Sasha Banks. Fatal Five Way, this is for the women's title. And this one was a little hard too because I'm leaning towards Bailey, but I'm also leaning towards Sasha. But I'm also leaning to probably another retain because they keep building these matches up just for another title to retain. But I'm just gonna go with um Alexa Bliss retaining. I don't know what it is, but this match, I just don't know if I'm feeling it. Um, and not to mention, I don't understand why Emma is in this and Bailey just got jumped into it too and I just I don't know I mean Nia Jax might come on top too she's the biggest of them all they she is the you know the only person that's probably gonna be the temptation for the these girls because I mean faces she's the Brock Lesnar the Bra the Braun Strowman of the women's division and I don't I mean, maybe she will surprise us. Our Bailey might too. I mean, WWE changes so much things the last minute. We don't know. Um, so I'm just going to go with Alexa Bliss retaining. I mean, let's face it. Um, but anyways, let's continue on. John Cena versus Roman Reigns. 
And my prediction is John Cena, baby. Uh, first of all, you know, I just, I don't know. I just love John Cena. Um, who doesn't, right? Anyway, so Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman, and this one was hard too. This is for the Universal Championship, and it was really hard because I didn't know who to lean towards because Braun has been on top lately. He's been a monster. He's been insane. He's been a beast. He's been crazy. I don't really even know what to lean towards. I just, I don't know. So I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar to retain the Universal Championship. I mean, oh my gosh. Um, I mean, that's my prediction. I mean, come on. He's the beast. But then again, he might not win and he might just leave WWE. I mean, there's so many. I don't even know. I mean, I don't know if Braun is really ready to be the champion, though. That's my thing. But he's been on top lately. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to go with Brock, though. Um, but anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching this WWE No Mercy prediction. Don't forget to like this video. Smash that subscribe button down below or hit my logo right about here. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go check out all the stuff down below in the description below. And come remember WWE Network so you can get your hands on. Of course, No Mercy and Hell in a Cell and all that jazz. And uh, don't forget to follow me at Wrestling101K so you can see me tweet. Um, no mercy, and there'll be a blog and all that jazz. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy this <laughs> prediction. Don't forget to comment down below your own WWE No Mercy prediction. There probably might be a mad chat in it is honestly, you know how WWE is. But hey, these are my own predictions. This is a Sunday, so hey, I can't wait for WWE No Mercy. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.